So I'm about to put the stain on the stock now. And this is the stain that I was using to uh, determine the high and low spots. That's the red mahogany stain. I like this stain for a military stock because it has a little bit of red and it definitely darkens up walnut too. But this is really where you want to look at your reference pictures of what you're trying to match. And the Norwegian stocks in particular are really not all that dark. So I have this gun stock, which is a fitting name, but I really am after it because it's a sort of a medium stain with a little hint of red in it. So that's what I'm going to use on this stock and, and see how it comes out. Um, I'm shooting for something like a medium brown. So we'll see how that goes. So just a note on sanding, I only took this up to 220 grit and I only did it for about 20-30 minutes at most. So the idea is that you don't, a military stock like this, you really don't want it to be all that smooth. Um, any ones that you see that are smooth, they're just smooth from years and years of, uh, of handling. But if you ever come across a, a gun with a, a stock that's relatively fresh, you'll see that it, it's not really rough to the touch, but it's, some, it's somewhere in between rough and smooth. So you really don't want to go crazy with the sandpaper because that's not how they finished these stocks originally. They, they did have some sort of grit to them. So that's what I'm going after with this. Um, and I think 220 achieves that. So that's, that's where I stopped. I, I didn't want to go too crazy. Okay, so it's been about five or ten minutes, and I'm just gonna start wiping it off right now, see how that goes. So this is the finished result. So I think that's good as a uh, a medium medium brown, and I think that's that's pretty accurate to uh, all the pictures I've seen of them online. I think the color will lighten up just a little bit with the boiled linseed oil, and the grain will just pop a little bit more, but. One thing I noticed on the reference pictures is that the serial number is stamped on the side of the stock on the left, just in front of the side plate. It ends up being under the serial that's stamped on the receiver. I'm now, I'm using individual number punches with a guide to rest them against and then marks to space them evenly. I did a few practice runs on scrap, but really even with all that help, it's still hard to get them perfect. Overall, I think it came out okay. It could be a lot better, but even though it, I think it adds a nice touch to the stock to have it match to the rifle. Stamping after the stain is on the stock ensures that the stain doesn't pool within the stain marks, resulting in a darker finish within the numbers. Now one thing is that there is a crown stamp above the serial, but I'm not going to bother with that. The good thing about these is that I can always go back and, and add it later on if I find one that's close. Here's coat one of what's going to be the finish, and this is boiled linseed oil. I like it because it dries a lot faster than raw linseed oil, and it provides a good uh, oil-based finish. So I'm just going to put a little bit on a rag and just just rub it in. Um, you, you want to do light coats on this. You don't want to get it too uh, too thick on there because then it's just going to gum up and just never end up drying. So I'm going to rub light coats on like that with the grain and I'm going to come back about 15 minutes later and just wipe off any excess if there are any. But I'm, like I said, I'm going to try not to apply excess oil.
as you go you can see that there's a lot of areas where the, you put the oil on it and it just sort of disappears right away so I'm just gonna keep applying to those areas you know over and over again until it seems to be taking on less oil So you can see as I rub the, the boiled in seed oil on the stock, this wipe is taking off some of the stain with it. So it's kind of dialing back the intensity of the stain, showing showing more of the uh, the natural wood grain is peeking through, whereas the stain before before rubbing was just kind of uh, a little muted by by the stain. So I like that. I think I think that's a pretty good look for it so I'm happy with how it's turning out of course it'll dull up a little bit as it dries but you know as we put on the coats I'm probably not going to do too many coats but you know you get to three or four coats it's going to be it's going to look more and more like it is now how it, how it is wet rather than when it dries out when this coat fully soaks into the wood so I'm going to keep going I'm going to do the hand guards and we'll see how it looks So here's the completed stock. I did uh, four coats. It uh, ended up looking pretty done after that, so I didn't want to go any further. Um, like I said before, I just want to do really the minimal amount of finishing as possible. I, I don't want this to feel really smooth, really shiny. I, I want it to be you know, reminiscent of a, a military finish, which is what I think I achieved here. I like the color a lot. It's a nice uh, medium to darkish brown you know a, a classic rich walnut color which i think uh does a good job at, at replicating what these look like in, in a lot of the reference pictures i have so let me just flip this over so you can see the other side so i'm pretty happy with how this looks um What's up next is to put everything back together and uh, you know see how see how the action sits in it, see how the the completed rifle looks. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.